In this lesson, you will look at the air data systems, ADS. All of the probes for the air data systems must be visually checked prior to each flight in the exterior walk-around. The static ports are located just aft of the forward cabin doors, three on each side of the aircraft. These provide static air pressure to the captain's air data system, the first officer's air data system, and for the standby system. You must check that these are clear. One alpha probe is located on the left forward fuselage and two on the right forward fuselage. These provide angle of attack, alpha, to the captain's air data system, the first officer's air data system, and to the flight augmentation computers. You must check that the probes are in good condition. The two total air temperature, TAT, sensors are located underneath the nose section. These provide TAT to the captain's air data system and the first officer's air data system. You must check that the sensors are in good condition. The three pitot probes are located underneath the nose. These provide total air pressure to the captain's air data system, the first officer's air data system, and to the standby system. You must check that the covers have been removed and that the probes are in good condition. All of the probes are electrically heated to protect against ice and rain. This is covered in more detail in the ice and rain chapter. You have now finished the checks. Let's go inside the aircraft and see how the information from the probes is used. The air data systems are one of the main sources of data for a number of the flight and navigation instruments. As you have seen, the aircraft is equipped with two independent main air data systems and one standby system. Each main air data system comprises of an air data computer, ADC, and probes. Each system supplies flight data to various instruments. Select each system in turn to see its associated instruments. When you have seen them all, select the forward arrow. Air Data System 1 normally supplies information to the captain's flight instruments and computers. It also supplies SAT and TAT to the ECAMS and the thrust rating panel. The standby system's probes are directly connected to the standby instruments. Air Data System 2 normally supplies information to the first officer's flight instruments and computers. There is a third alpha probe, which is independent of both the main air data systems and the standby system. This is connected directly to both flight augmentation computers, FACs. You have now completed the lesson on air data systems. Now check your understanding by trying the following questions.